that he would have to redeem us from the foundation of the world. And all this time, he never changed his mind. He never changed his will. I want to read once again from Acts 3.15. And killed the prince of life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Now if we had the Supreme Court take this issue up before them, and we could provide more than 500 witnesses who could testify that Jesus rose from the dead, they would call that concrete evidence because they were eyewitnesses. Eyewitnesses means a lot. Do you know in the courts of heaven, God is witness to everything he done? Let's go through the story in Revelation 5 and 1. And what I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, nor under the earth, neither under the earth, were able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him, that sat upon the throne. When he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to open the book, to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God, by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue, and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. I really believe this book was God's final plan to take us home. And no man, whether in heaven or in the earth, or under the earth was able to open the book. No man, but God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, had made a way. And that lamb, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, he was a lamb slain, having seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, and seven horns, would show that perfection of reigning as a king. And he had those horns. You'll find out later on after the seven seals are open, seven horns are going to blow. And you find out he is worthy. But what happened to John? He wept because he didn't know there was such a person worthy. He didn't realize that Jesus dying on the cross had done all this. Without that death on the cross, he would not have been worthy. Without that blood testament, the will of God could not be sent to the earth, could not be accomplished. Without that purging of our conscience, 
we could never have a conscience that would clear us before God and tell us we were living right. See, your conscience is a guide, but it's to, to be guided according to the Word of God. If you only look to the world to guide your conscience, you'll actually sear that conscience with a hard, hot iron and never have no comprehension of evil being evil. But when God shows you the truth of His Word, He shows you that evil is evil. And lies are real lies. And hurts are real hurts. But God could give us peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. And He said, My peace I live with you, not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. He said in another scripture, In this world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And here is John at the throne of God, realizing that Jesus Christ is the only one that can wind this thing up. You know, he started it. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things that were made were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And so He made the way for us to get to heaven. These seven seals He's opening up. He's an opening up a way to wind this thing up and bring us home. If it weren't for that book, men would go on being evil all throughout. There'd never be an end to this to bring the presence of God down to earth and us up to Him. it only carry on. We keep electing presidents. We keep having judges that had to put so many people in jail because they'd never live right, never do right. And evil would just wax worse and worse like it was in the days of Noah. But God made a way. And He made a way when there seems to be no way. And He brought us into the relationship of Him. And in that courtroom of heaven, here there's only one that can open up that book and make a way for us to reign as kings and priests before God. Only through Jesus Christ our Lord. And he said, knowing that our time is far spent, and the darkness is coming, but the day is coming. We ought to persuade men, knowing the terror that's coming, we ought to persuade men to serve God. That's what I'm trying to do this morning, is persuade you that it's worth all our sacrifice that we have to make in presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable for Him, which is our reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing our, of our mind and go to be with the Lord when He calls. I want you to know there's a day when He's going to call us home. There's a reason people hope to go to heaven. There's a reason that everybody, when they go to a funeral, want themselves to be preached that they're in heaven. Not everybody's going to go. But I don't mind people preaching here going to heaven. I hope that's what you're doing. But that's between you and God. That's not me to say. I'm not the judge. And thank God you're not my judge. We neither one are fit to do the job. But the judge of eternity is going to judge. And it says he's going to separate the wheat from the tares. The enemy sowed the tares in the wheat field. And the Lord said, let them grow up until the end. Then one day I'm going to separate the tares out of the wheat. And the wheat are going to shine forth like the sun. You know what I want to do? I want to shine. I want to shine forth like the sun, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Malachi, the fourth chapter, said, The Son of Righteousness. Mm -hmm. 
will rise with healing in his wings. Before that great and notable day, Elijah will come and he'll turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the fathers and the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. You know, he cursed at one time. He cursed it when Adam fell. But when Jesus rose from the dead, he lifted the curse away so that we could go to heaven to be with the Lord. I thank you today for letting me preach on the cross. I know next week is Easter and I want to preach on the resurrection. But I want you to know the blood has never lost its power. And he's able to cleanse us. He's able to give us the hope of going to heaven and the strength to live for him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He said, I have never told you before to pray and ask the Lord. He said, I said, I'll pray the Father. But he said, now I don't say that I'll pray the Father. I say, you can ask the Father in my name. In my name. He's given us that right. When we come under Him, in His blood, through His will, we can ask the Father in His name to do what we need to do because we're praying in the will of God. Father, not my will, but thine be done. Let us pray. Father, we thank You this day for a beautiful day today that we can serve the Lord. And I thank You, Lord, that that day has not come where we're caught away and we're left behind. I thank you, Lord, that we can serve you. We can make that commitment to you, Lord, to live our life pleasing, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Help us do it in Jesus' name I pray. And amen. I play one more. song on my hard drive and then I had to close this thing down I think yeah I'm running a little bit low not too low to play the song but I'm sorry brother Johnny wasn't able to be here I play the song two winning hands <laughs> <laughs>